Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 131. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Alright, so we are now here for the uh, Class R2 World Tour. Uh, I'm hoping I fix my stuttering issue now because I'm finally on Powerline Adapters, which means I have stable internet. Um, so yeah, we're going to start off with the Class R2 World Tour. Starting off with uh, New York Circuit, Sedona Raceway, Road America, Le Mans, Circuit de Catalunya, and then Sebring. Let's get going. Paranoia is in bloom, the PR. Transmissions will resume. I know it's the wrong lyrics, I don't care. Holy fuck, this thing's quick. So, uh, it turns out Ferrari knows how to make a car. I have a feeling I might have to take this car again. I think they still know how to make a car. I... As much as I think Ferrari's design is out there at the moment... It's very different to the norm. I still think Ferraris do look beautiful. Even the Roma. Like, that thing is, like, out there as being weird. But I love that car. Like, Ferrari, just in general. I hate Ferrari as a company. I think they're scumbags and, you know, they are scumbags. But... No, um, the Roma, that's like their, they made like a Ferrari that was sort of, like a coupe kind of thing. Um, it wasn't quite an SUV, it wasn't quite like the hatchback like the FF was. Um, because the FF was a weird one, it was like a family car, but it wasn't SUV, it wasn't like that kind of thing. Um, it's sort of in between, almost like an AMG GT. Like, it's sort of like a fast, like a supercar coupe. It's very nice. Yeah, it's really odd. If you search up Ferrari Roma, you'll find it. It's one of the ones they used in the um, F122 game. But uh, yeah, I'm huge huge fan of that car now. It's definitely grown on me. Let's have a look at what the interior is like. Ah, fairly basic. This is one hell of a fast Ferrari though. Hmm. That aroma. That aroma is very nice. Oh, so, um, you know when you sent me that Ready Now song by Maddox? It reminded me that there's actually a lot of other Maddox songs. Like, Ready Now's a good one, but Maddox has so many better songs. So I added Ready Now and a load of other really good Maddox songs. This is one of them. This is a fucking tune. Oh, you got me thinking.
I didn't realize, but uh, Maddock actually owns... I, I'm pretty sure it's Maddock. Uh, actually owns Liquidity Records. Didn't realize it, which is pretty awesome. Ooh, nice. Very good, very nice, very good, very nice. I can't wait to get the backrest on this chair and actually, like, have a functioning chair again. It's so much more comfortable than what I've been using, so... Fifty-four seconds that last lap was. That's one hell of a V12 noise. I don't even know what episode we're actually on that we're recording. We're at 122. I believe that I've finished editing. So add 8 to that. So yeah, we're probably on episode 131 now. 131 videos just absolutely baffles me though. And we're going to be recording all the way up until 100, episode 134 today. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. What kind of chair you're looking at getting? Or are you getting? This one I have is heavily used and doesn't even have armrests. <laughs> yeah, I mean... The one that I've got doesn't have a back currently, so... I think your chair's a little more useful than mine. <laughs> But yeah, I'm. I want to get a proper, proper chair. So I've, I've got a couple of things I want to upgrade in my setup. Um, new chair. But that is probably six months down the line, maybe. New television. A 4K one that can do 60 FPS. 120 hertz is a bit unrealistic. The TVs at the moment because it's like in the thousands for that. Um, I don't know what else do I really want to change on my setup. A new monitor would be nice. I want to get a bigger this monitor and then use this monitor as my second and then get rid of this TV. Um, I doubt I'd use the TV as a third monitor because I want to be a little more colour accurate. So if I've got a brand new monitor that sort of has the same colour space as what this has, it should hopefully look very similar. Because the problem I have when it comes to like video editing and looking at my previews, get a bunch of large CRT monitors. Fucking hell. Nah. I need an actual flat screen TV. 
I don't think I'd be able to figure out how to make space for a t like an actual television that's that big, that's CRT. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, so... But I, w I want to look for a 4K monitor and a 4K TV, potentially. Um, because 4K just is so much better um, when it comes to PS5. When it comes to PC, it's not as necessary, but the PS5, it, it does look a lot better on a 4K monitor for some reason. Um, and I'm 99% sure the PS5 just renders in 4K anyways. Like, it doesn't matter what it, you select, it will just render in 4K. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I pressed reverse by accident. Or I shifted down too many times and then went into reverse. This is very weird, because this car is literally identical to the one, like, the actual Ferrari F50, except for the fact it's got a rear wing and a roof scoop. Everything else is exactly the same, maybe a different splitter. So it's a very strange car, this. I don't know. I've done it again. Did I overtake those? That looks like second place right behind. <laughs> Send it sideways, I guess she did. Yep. Send it, motherfucker. You a snitch, that's a no go. Cause you a snitch, that's a no go. Yeah. Reaching now for something to hold. See, if somebody subscribes now, I won't know. I think it's a subscribe sound. Because this is the same song as my subscription notification. I'll take my three levels of upgrades, thank you. I'll be honest. Dodge need to sell phone chargers in the shape of the Dodge Charger. That is such a great business move. I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> Oh, that's such a good... Uh, that, was a, that was a perfect example of that meme. <laughs> oh, it's very rare I can, like, pinpoint an example that we could use a meme for. But that was, that was just too perfect. <laughs> oh, God.
fast car. Vroom, vroom. Bang, bang. The thing that has been really weird and really different about this um, series so far... With wide knowledge of memes, you can speak only in memes. <laughs> speech meme. <laughs> it's not speech 100, it's speech meme. Oh yeah, um, what's kind of odd with this series so far is the fact that, um, in the last two Forza games, we sort of had to wait all the way until, like, episode 70, or, like, episode 60, before we actually got into a faster vehicle and got into the higher-end cars. In this one, we were in higher-end cars by, like, episode 25, I believe. Um, and I think the only time we got to use an R1 car, I think that was episode 38, if I'm not mistaken. Which was a while ago now. But, um... Yeah, it just seems... It's nice how this game is structured, because it, it is a mix. There's a good structure to it. I just think it's a bit too long for a walkthrough. Um, it's definitely a big project and a big grind. Um, but as a game itself, it's actually really good. But yeah, 121 hours in. I'm getting close to that with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, though. Um, this time last week, I was at 46 hours of playthrough. On Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This time last week on Forza, we were about 108, 110 hours. We're now at 121 on Forza, but my Assassin's Creed Odyssey is 72 hours playthrough. I'm not 100% sure. Let me double check the numbers. Steam. Menu. Come on. I know the Steam Deck's touch screen. That's the one... That's another thing that I really don't like about the Steam Deck. The touch screen is fucking AIDS. Uh, oh, it's 67 hours. Never mind. I got a bit aggressive on the old calculator, I guess. 67.9, so basically 68 hours. But um, I've been thoroughly enjoying Assassin's Creed. Um, I finished the main storyline. I finished the Atlantis storyline that's in the game. Uh, which is pretty sick. The only problem is the Atlantis storyline is basically the um, the Animus storyline. Uh, spoiler alert, in, in case anyone's wondering. It's not that much of a spoiler, but if anyone's wanting to play Assassin's Creed, cover your ears for the next 30 seconds. Um, yeah, the Animus storyline is basically the Atlantis storyline like that's in the base game. What's really weird is there doesn't seem to be much mention of, like, life outside of the Assassin's world, outside of the Animus. Really weird. <laughs> Rocket Bunny spoiler, yes. Nah, I'm more into that Liberty Walk. <laughs> I really want to get Need for Speed. Does anyone want to buy me Need for Speed Unbound? I, I will make lots of content on it. I just I, I really want to play it again. I've used up all my um, trial time. I'm tempted to use... Um, what is it? My cousin's account for now. And just download Need for Speed Unbound on that and get another 10 hours. I don't care if I have to start the game again. I just really want to play it. It's so Honestly, like, Need for Speed Unbound is a lot better than the past Need for Speed games. And a lot of people are hating on it just because it's EA. If 
you'll fix my issue, I will try to get it within my range of money. <laughs> Is your issue the range of money, though? <laughs> I want to play it as well. Oh god. But yeah, I don't know what's wrong with your PC doing that though. It does seem to be something to do with your PC. Um, whether it's like a graphics card thing or a files missing that it needs or something like that. But there is a lot of problems with the EA launcher at the moment. Yo, Zeno, work one, you dickhead. Yeah, so, um, what is it? AC Odyssey. Thoroughly enjoying it. I have, I've done the first DLC as well. I've got to do the Fate of Atlantis DLC. Uh, if there's any cultists as part of that DLC, I have to then do that. Um, and then just the main cultists, and then I think that'll be good enough for me. Completing the game. Try to do fresh. Ooh! Mm, I don't know. The only other thing that I know would probably work um, because it works pretty much 99% of the time is a fresh install of Windows but the only problem is you shouldn't have to do a fresh install of Windows just to get something to run um, yeah you shouldn't have to do that just to get something to run like the um, what is it my issue with the Windows Store one of them was recommending to um, do a fresh install of Windows to try and fix it, and I'm like, no. I am not wiping everything on my PC. Sure, maybe my D drive and my G drive and my H drive will be untouched, but anything on my boot drive basically just gets wiped as soon as you fresh install it. And there is stuff on my boot drive that, like stream stuff and all that stuff. I'm not really doing that. And that shouldn't be a fix. Yeah. The uh, Windows Store is a bit stupid. To be honest. Bro, just use your phone. <laughs> No, I think he had blocked access to everything. I don't think he was doing it just because he wanted to update his calculator. I think it was everything. I think, actually, you might have had the same problem as what I've got. Oh, gosh. That's not ideal. Yeah, so the problem I have at the moment is the fact that the Microsoft Store... Um just will not communicate with the servers. It won't download anything. Um, it happen It's happened on every computer I've had. Yeah, I keep crashing. Shut up, Xeno. <laughs> every Windows computer I've had, um, my old laptop that I had in college that ran Windows 10 stopped working, so I couldn't install Cuphead and stuff like that. It, it was barely an issue back then because I didn't have many Microsoft games and I didn't have a PC that could run stuff like Forza. So I was pretty much stuck with the basic stuff and that was like one or two games. So it wasn't a hassle then. Got my newer laptop. Was still the same issue though. Not really any graphics capability, so no problem there. My desktop, however, it's been a real problem because I now have a computer that is capable... So I've just had to rebuy all my games that I've got on the Windows Store on Steam. So I rebought No Man's Sky, rebought um, Horizon 5, and refunded it 
Microsoft weren't very happy with that, but... Suit yourself, Microsoft. You were shit. Um, I'm going to be rebuying Horizon 4. Like, I can't play Horizon 4 until I rebuy it. I haven't yet. No spoilers, because I'm literally halfway through it. I've seen a couple of clips and they do look good, but I, I, I'm I, trying. I'll probably get to watching them tonight or tomorrow. The Sidemen are really good at making music. Like, their gang is really good at making tunes. I did see Toby's verse in full on TikTok. Or YouTube Shorts. It's the same thing. It was a TikTok that then got re-uploaded to YouTube Shorts. Pack up your shit and go. The saline's on my ass. No, fuck off. You can't. Fuck off, you can't. Get back. I'm surprised YouTube doesn't demonetize my videos because they say that the cunt word is not allowed. You can't say cunt. <laughs> I don't care. Well, no, the F50 hasn't seen better days. It's still a very nice car. This F50 has seen better days, however. <laughs> 20,000 euros in paint repair. <laughs> and the rest. Bodywork repair, engine repair. Actually, hang on. Ah, the engine's fine. At well, least just the body panels. We're a bit wonky. <laughs> the car literally cost me 500 grand, so. Very nice. Pretty good, very nice. Oh my god, my voice. Fucking hell. <laughs> so, um. Chat. Chat. Right, Toyota, two weeks ago, announced their lineup for WRC, right? Hyundai, in the same day, announced their driver lineup for WRC. M Sport, five or six days ago, announced that they've got Tanak on their team. They have not announced the rest of their drivers. Like, honestly, M Sport are leaving it right till the last minute to sort out their next year drives, and it is. The suspense is killing me. It's like if we were sat here now and we didn't know what drivers were going to be at Mercedes Formula 1 team next year. Or we were sat here right now and didn't know who's going to be in Ferrari or who's going to be in Red Bull. Like we could speculate, but we won't know until those announcements happen. And it's just crazy to think that in WRC, M Sport had just sat there like... The rally starts next month. In about five weeks, the rally starts. Meanwhile, Roman Grosjean being Lamborghini driver. <laughs> I would love to see Lamborghini make like an entrance into Formula 1. I think that'd be awesome. And if they can make an entrance into Formula 1 and absolutely fucking whoop Ferrari, how embarrassing would that be? Like, oh look, here's Lamborghini with their Formula 1 car. I don't think Lamborghini would go into Formula 1. Yeah. I, d I don't think they'd make... a Formula 1 car. Because it's... It doesn't seem that kind of environment for them. You know.
They're in DTM though, aren't they? I know there's a Lamborghini Huracan GT3 car. I think it's in DTM. Ferrari's definitely in DTM. I've seen that. Because Alpha Tauri used Ferraris, didn't they? Lamborghini doesn't have the precision for F1. I mean, in comparison to Ferrari, they have a lot more precision than that. So... I would love to see... I'm curious when the next Lamborghini is going to get announced. Like, the next mainstream Lamborghini. Because we've had all these, like, concept Lamborghinis that have come out. Like, would you our next upgrade for the Lamborghini? Like, the Huracan is still going strong. We'll probably have a few more years of the Huracan. But the Huracan will get replaced very soon. In fact, no, it might get replaced after this rally one comes out. That off-road Lamborghini, though. Like, it's not even like the Urus where it's an SUV. Like, it is straight up just a Lamborghini Huracan of raised suspension with off-road tires. Like, that just fucking blows my mind. It's so cool. Aventador SVJ 2.0. <laughs> Aventador J SV S SVJ. <laughs> nice. The ultimate Lamborghini. Also, what is up, M1? How are you today? Hey, good to hear M1. Good to hear you're doing good. Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> Rally Lamborghini. No, I thought it was real. I've seen YouTube videos. The Strandman's buying one. Apparently, yeah. I thought it was an actual thing. An off-road hurricane. It's called the str 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 stunt thing. I can't really check it, but it's literally a Lamborghini Huracan with fucking off-road suspension and off-road tyres on it. Plastic wheel arches to protect the paint against um, Lamborghini Stratos. Oh my god, I would love to see a Lancia Stratos. That concept Stratos um, that they made... Didn't even realise. So I had never heard about the concept Stratos that they made until it appeared in uh, Top Gear magazine in 2012. And I thought that was like, oh yeah, they made it in 2012. Apparently that thing's been was in the works for quite some time. That they were trying because it's got a Ferrari engine in it. Um, and that thing was in the works for quite some time. That is actually in Colin McRae Dirt One. I did not realise. So that concept Stratos that was made literally became a real thing eventually, but it took them so long. B is for build channel. Stravata. I don't know. It's a brand new thing, so I haven't really paid much attention to it. It's not been featured in a video game either, so... My attention for those cars don't it doesn't really get much there either. Tonight Oh I'll well, let it take control fusing you to me. Storato That rings a bell. Christmas drillings make a killing. <laughs> Is that one of the, the Sidemen songs? I gotta have a listen to them. 
But I want to watch a YouTube video first before hearing them, because otherwise then there's no point watching the video. Because I feel like that's kind of half of the reason. You want to see the process and then hear the song. Yeah. So it's exactly the same as what they did last time. I think it was in 2018 or 2019. But they did one. I think it was 2019. The last one they did. And that was really good. Feel, but nothing lasts forever, but I'm down for the minute. So just chill. I gotta go Tesco's later to get my lunch. But I have a choice. Do I get pasta? <laughs> Cook it myself. For fu for a fiver. Or do I buy a pizza for six quid. With some cookie dough. And just chuck it in the oven. Obviously I'm going for the pizza. Like it's easy. But yeah. It's fucking like minus two degrees in Wales at the moment. It's fucking cold. Like, if you think in England the weather is bad, it is worse in Wales. And I didn't realise that it could actually be worse than England. Oh, it fucking can. The weather is so much worse in Wales. Yeah, but it's, it's been raining. I've been miserable. The whole of England's pretty, pretty cold, to be honest. England, Scotland, Wales. But the amount that it's rained compared to England, like pretty much every day it's rained in Wales. <laughs> it's frost everywhere, but no snow. Yeah, I, there's been quite a few weather warnings that there's going to be snow and stuff like that. But I've just been looking and it's like, well, where the f... Like, I, I, I'm looking outside, there's no fucking snow. I don't see the clouds spraying me with snow. <laughs> where the fuck is it? <laughs> Meanwhile, Canada. What is this thing called sunshine? What is this thing called a warmth? Never heard of it. <laughs> right, we got two more laps to go. Wherever she goes, I go. We bro, we go. Flying over cities down from Rio. It's real. I actually need to be quite quick with um, how I'm recording this today. Because I need to record this. Whoa! I need to record this and then go... Tesco's. Like, record this, get my thumbnails, feed the dog, go Tesco's. And then get back. In a very short space of time. Or I might just end up doing two videos today. But I, w I want to get 12 done for the week. And say like I've done. A good week. But I might just have to. Like take it on the chin and just have 10. I just want to try and get this backlog done. It does sound really good, honestly. McLaren F1 is going to be a while, man. But I, I will let you know, Zeno. Zeno, you're at the top of my list. 
You're at the top of my list, man. I I'm going to let everyone know. It's McLaren F1 time. Sue. I don't get the Sue meme. It's just... Ah, oh, shit. It's just... Sue. Like, why? Me no understand. Like, if I'm not mistaken, it's... is Yeah, it's Cristiano Ronaldo. A footballer that when he celebrates goes, Sue! It's just such a mediocre thing. Like, out of all the things that could be, like, a funny meme... <laughs> Krista Roldan. <laughs> oh, they got fucking knocked out in the World Cup, didn't they? How sad. Isn't uh, England in the semi-final at the moment? Yo, Scoomans, what's up? Flying Dutchman, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> My head is a jungle, jungle. My head is a jungle. Oh, shit. That's not ideal. My head is a jungle, jungle. I must keep moving. Have you ever thought of breaking at the right time on the first attempt? I have, but sometimes I'm too busy reading chat. Or oh, that's the excuse that I've been using. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Doing just okay. It's 8.30 here in Netherlands. It's not that far off here, is it? Yeah, it's 7.30 here. So, only an hour. What's the future like? I still find it funny there are Americans that think, like, <laughs> because, like, Australia is ahead in time that they're in the future. There are genuinely Americans that believe that, and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.